Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 18th to the 24th of July 2022 and welcome back. Thank you very much for your likes, your thumbs up and your subscribes. Please do subscribe if you haven't yet and don't miss out on the perks and join us in the life. It's also a possibility to get your question answered by with a small reading. The super chat start at five dollars USA or the equivalent in your own currency. Um, please do support. It keeps me motivated as well. I try to do the readings for you as well, and also it helps uh, buying new decks, of course. Um, and please do support. It is also your channel, so it's up to all of you. To support me and I support you with the readings. I love doing them for you so please I hope you will enjoy this reading. I've used some vibrant cards this week and I'm doing the Lenamon just to get a little bit away from the tarot and start with the Lenamon. You can get this these decks from Red, Shiver Red Feather and you can find uh, them also in the review playlist. Just go to the playlists and look at uh, reviews on new decks and there you can see all the, the the reviews i've done and you can see all the pictures i love the artistry so also this is by monica bodersky she's a lovely lady and she's canadian and this is the shadowland lenamon or oracle deck you come in with the sun so if there's any bad cards it will lighten the negativity of those cards. I would like to say that first of all, because you've got the scythe, you've got the clouds, so they're a bit negative, uh, but there's a flip side to nearly every card. Like if the sun was upside down, then the sun is not shining on you. Well, the sun is shining on you big time because you're in the spotlight. Wow, beautiful. I'm not reading these above, above numbers, I'm reading the cartomancy on this and I'm taking these numbers. So the sun is a beautiful card, you could be moving home, going on holiday, you could be traveling uh, to a warm country. Mind you, it is pretty hot in Europe now. Uh, next week we'll be reaching around 40 centigrade in UK and in the Netherlands. So it's going to be a scorcher. So you don't have to go to Spain because it's 45, 50 degrees at the moment. So save your money and travel later in the year if you can, if you want to go to a warm country. Also, you could be going on to the next level in a romance or in career, promotions, wage rises, getting engaged, getting married, starting a family or expanding the family or the home. You are in the spotlight where there is a spotlight there is also illumination so you need to do research with regards to a situation or a question at hand if you are traveling do check your itinerary and your id before you go because there's been a lot of negative energy around travel and you don't want to be stuck in the heat also you've got the ace of pentacles so there could be a new beginning new money coming in like I said, a wage rise or a promotion, as you are being seen, this gives you recognition. You're sending out the right vibes. You are being the sunshine in a lot of people's lives. You could be meeting a Leo um, also because of the pentacles, You're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. But definitely, if you can hold out, go on holiday in September, the end of August, then things will start to cool down again. There could be reunions as we have the garden. The garden means gatherings, getting together. This could be a birthday parties, weddings, because this is the wedding card. This could be your wedding. This could also be that you're invited to a wedding, uh, but you'll be re reuniting or meeting people from the past, whether it's family, friends, colleagues this could be presentations as well like um, uh, passing your exams from college uh, so there again celebrations you'll be celebrating 20 becomes a two which means partnering up so this could be a reunion 
a reconciliation could come from this reunion. You also come in at the beginning of the week with the scythe. The scythe means you're cutting away the BS and you've left it behind. You're cutting a new path. You've gained life experience and life knowledge. Use it to your advantage with this new beginning. As a 10 is a completion and is an ending. And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. There could be some things that you don't know. So somebody could be keeping secrets from you or you could be keeping secrets, but somebody is wearing a mask. Forewarned is forearmed, so be aware. Listen to your intuition, as the moon also has the dark side. All the spotlights have a dark side. That's why you need to get more information, do the research, or find out what the secrets are. Especially when you're signing contracts. Somebody could be wearing a mask, somebody could be lying to you, because this reminds me of Pinocchio's nose, when every time he lies, the nose grows. They might feel that they're hanging on by their fingertips or the fingernails. Wow, and that's why they want to make things sound better than what they are, so that's why they are lying or fibbing. You are on the right path to your northern note and that being your dream, your goal or your wish. As the moon uh, shines light on, on you and on your path so that you know and can see where you're going. Also the moon um, means that you could be dealing with water signs um, and emotions could be running high around the full moon or the new moon. So be aware, you might discover something. Also, you've got the birds. Uh, the bir birds, this is number five, you're halfway, okay? Definitely. And, well, no, I'm not doing those numbers, am I? <laughs> you're, you're going up from five to six, okay? Definitely. You've also got number seven, I see, the seven of pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap. Also, the birds mean watch out for gossip, okay? Um, also, somebody could be flying the coop or leaving the group. The coop is like a hen house, and I, the, I love that rhyme. So, somebody could be leaving the house. This could be a teenager passing their uh, exams and going off to college in September. Wow, because of Virgo, September, okay? So what you sow, you shall reap, but remember it will take time to come to fruition. So you could also be traveling in through air, flying somewhere. Uh, you could be going on holiday, like I said. You also could be getting news. This news um, could be about what you are wishing for or finding out, depending on whether you have sought advice from a professional and they're sending you news. This could come through cyber, email, text message or telephone call. Um, definitely luck is on your side. So I think it will be good news. You've also got the woman. You could be meeting a lady uh, or somebody else that is very nurturing, caring, uh, loving, uh, also pretty or sensual. Um, or this could be a man that has a nurturing or the feminine coming out with a nurturing side, a caring side, a loving side. Wow. Number 29 becomes 11. So that's the angelic doorway. Um, the divine and the angels are giving you a new, a new beginning. Be more nurturing if you're not dealing or meeting a lady. Be more nurturing for yourself and take care of yourself. Remember, if you take care of yourself, then you can take care of another. If you love yourself, then you can love another. Definitely, this reading seems quite orientated to finding out which direction to go to, whether it's career-wise or romance-wise, as we've got the heart. So this could be something that you have to decide and choose. Am I going for love and marriage or am I going for passion and vocation? The heart means that you could be joining up with another heart, confirming the marriage card. Um, 
and definitely you also have the jack of hearts so there could be an offer coming in from somebody younger than you the news could be about a child you could find out that you're pregnant like the the i said the time is fertile and the sun also means you could be expanding the family getting pregnant it's the ace of wands again if you get pregnant now then it could be a taurus next no not taurus Capricorn no it's not a Capricorn I think if you're going to get pregnant in August September uh, Virgo then yes um, this is the Jack of Pentacles and where was I you've got the Jack of Hearts here so this could be um, Capricorn and that would be an early birth but that is Capricorn and this is um, the jack is uh, Pisces the page page of cups so that could be Pisces yes it could be a Pisces if you get pregnant now you could be pregnant and it could be born in Pisces time end of February beginning of March wow so next January February March could be very significant for you okay you could be getting news about something also something spiritual perhaps because the jack of cups is spiritual and empathic could be something that will make you happy amazing lovely you've also got the lily so definitely luck in business three means creativity and productivity also the lily means you could be seeking advice from a mature man uh, this could be a professional but this could also be a father figure or an uncle somebody mature that you respect okay and I think it could also be a lady somebody nurturing could be a mother figure or a mother-in-law if you're finding out and you're going to get that you're pregnant this could be the gynecologist this could be the justice of the peace if you or an advocate prenuptials if you're getting married definitely birth pregnancy this could be a birth of a child or of a project of course but if it is a business then you'll have luck in business definitely or in your career you've also got the queen of hearts the queen of hearts is scorpio mainly but don't forget uh, cancer or pisces you've got pisces here uh, or scorpio could be another scorpio the birds mean moving home moving the business 360 degrees turnaround in a situation um, if you've had a no before then if you've put an offer on a house then if you try again the second time round it will turn around into your for your advantage also a birth of a, a project or a child you could be moving home moving home moving home wow definitely there could be disagreements um, with moving home perhaps or about a pregnancy but remember you've got the clouds here but every cloud has a silver lining so don't worry too much and you've got a, a six again so let's have a look I'm going to count it you've got one six here two sixes so that's a double number um, you've got a seven you've got a four you've got a five so you're definitely going on four four five four five uh, six you're going up in the world wow beautiful now that said it is a good reading it definitely a productive something is going to happen whether it's love or passion but you're going to lose your heart wow and we have truth to uh, uh, truth be told and where did i say secrets here the truth is coming out wow if somebody is admiring you and keeping it secret that they are loving you um it's going to come out definitely with the sun and the heart and the 360 degrees turnaround so get ready to hear the truth you've got number 14 
so that's another five so you've got two fives okay double numbers wow and you've got that number 11 here so the angels do have your back look at the window open the doors open your window to uh, open the door open the window to your heart your solar plexus covering the owl's chest so open your heart but also open your mind let the love come in these are all petals in shape of hearts i think and here you've got the mask again so let them take off the mask compromise wow now the last card that i'm going to pull is the mystical um wisdom so let's have a look i love these decks they're gorgeous cards and you've got children well we've got the pregnancy here wow we've got the pregnant could be pregnancy the heart uh, the sun mother figure here so children yes know that your children are protected well if you haven't got any children then the project if like i said you could be hearing a birth uh, about a birth this could be a project or this could be a child then that project will be your baby and you will um, know that that project is protected and I've, so, I've already told you about number 11, the angelic, the two fives, uh, the sixes, um, etc, etc. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, darling. And I hope you have a successful and a fruitful, beautiful week. So take care and stay healthy. And please do be careful in the sun. Take water and cream with you. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you in the life. Thank you.